I'm going to show you now is how I put on all of the collars when I'm making use of the ribbing. First of all, you need to measure your neckline. In this case, my neckline measured 30 inches. So here's the math. Your neck is 30 inches. And whenever you're putting on a rib or a stretchy type collar that you want to hug the neck, the ratio is 2 to 3. So 2 is to 3, S, X is to 30. So I want to solve for X. The way I remember to do this is you multiply the means and the extremes. So 3X is equal to 2 times 30 or 60. And then to solve for X you would divide each side by 3. So the neckline that I want is 20 inches. So I need 20 inches worth of ribbing. I wanted to use both colors of ribbing on this jacket. I just thought it'd be pretty to have the gold and then the green of the sweatshirt. So I kind of played around and I didn't want four layers of ribbing so that's why I came in here and seamed this and there'll be more directions in that in the written part of this DVD. So I have here 20 inches worth just as we determined with our math of ribbing and you can see it's got to stretch a long way. So I've already done this half so I, I marked the half of the ribbing, put it to the center back of the shirt, and then stretched it and stitched it. So near, here, let me show you on this one how much it has to stretch. Oh, the other thing I wanted to draw to your attention was for the baseball neck, or what I call the baseball neck, this is the fold of the ribbing, and here's a curve. And what's going to happen is this is going to go right here to the center front. What I like to do is to attach the ribbing, the right side of the ribbing, to the wrong side of the shirt. Then it comes up and down. As you can see what's going to happen here on this side. Then the ribbing gets put down on the outside. I zigzag this down and then in this case I'm going to just run this same gold, uh, green yarn along there to finish it off. And I'll show you that later. So right now though we've got to get this all the way here. So the seam allowance, the seam line of this ribbing would be right here. I always work with a quarter or three eighths inch seam line, seam allowance. So I want to match that point to the center front. So I know I need to go right there. So I pin that securely. Now it's like you need another hand. So usually, I know this is kind of tacky, but my mouth works as my third hand. So I stretched it so I got the middle of that. So now I've got to stretch the ribbing. I just can't do this all at the sewing machine. So there's that curve of the ribbing, but you just work it in. and then I'll stitch this side. Now I would have stitched this all in one go. Yes, I sew over pins. Do what you're comfortable with. I wear glasses. So now I'm going to stitch right to that center front point. This kind of sewing is not precise and exact. That's one reason I like it so well. Now when I take these pins out, you can see then how it's going to look. So it's going to come down to the outside, to the right side of the garment. This kind of turns under. And I always plan silk ribbon or something to go over 
this edge. But now I have to play with it some and get it pinned down there. And again, you have to kind of stretch it. Okay, now it appears to me that I've got an awful lot of bulk here. So I think I'm going to stop at this point and I'm going to trim this green layer back because that's just too thick. 